I'm Manil Kumar. Welcome to my series on important strategies to solve equations. We have taken up an example on trigonometry and we are going to use a very important technique which is called componendo and dividendo to solve this particular question. If secant x plus tan x equals to p, then p square minus 1 divided by p square plus 1 is equal to what? Four choices are given to us, sin x, cos x, tan x, and cosecant x. The technique which I'm talking about is called componendo dividendo. And when we are given ratios, let us say a over b equals to c over d, then a plus b over a minus b is also equal to c plus d over c minus d. The proof for this I will attach at the end of the solution of the trigonometric question. So those of you who are interested in the proof can actually see the proof at the end of this video. Now let's see how to solve the given question. If secant x plus tan x equals to p, then we need to find what is p square minus 1 divided by p square plus 1. So let's begin with secant x plus tan x. And we are going to write it in the form of sine over cos. Secant is 1 over cos. And tan is sine x over cos x. So that gives you cos x as common denominator and 1 plus sin x as a numerator equals to p. We want p square, so let me square both sides. So we get 1 plus sin x whole square over cos square x equals to p square. Now, using componendo and dividendo, we can actually find what is p square minus 1 divided by p square plus 1. Now this ratio could be written the other way also, that is to say a minus b over a plus b will be equal to c minus d over c plus d, correct? So we'll do p square minus 1 over p square plus 1 should be equal to, from the numerator, we'll subtract the denominator, right? So it was p square over 1. So it's denominator, d is being subtracted or added, correct? So we get 1 plus sine x whole square minus cos square x over 1 plus sine x whole square plus cos square x. Let us expand. We get 1 plus 2 sin x plus sin square x minus cos square x over 1 plus 2 sin x plus sin square x plus cos square x. Correct? Now, in the numerator, we can rearrange and write this as 2 sin x plus sin square x 1 minus, I mean, plus 1 minus cos square x. So, we'll combine 1 minus cos square x to write this as sin square x. In the denominator, sin square x plus cos square x is 1, so we get 1 plus 2 sin x. Correct. Here you say this is this is one, so I'm writing this as plus one. Now one minus cos square x is sine square x, so we get two sine x plus sine square x plus sine square x. That becomes two sine square x, and here we get two plus. 2 sin x. 
we can take 2 common, 2 sin x common in the numerator. So we get 2 sin x. We get 1 here plus this is 2 sin square x, right? So we'll write here sin x. We have taken 2 sin x common divided by 2 common. We get 1 plus sin x. Now 2 and 2 cancel, 1 plus sin x, 1 plus sin x cancel, we get sin x as a result. So option A is the right option, correct? So you must have noticed what I did here was that I combined these 2 sin square x, right? So it was actually 2 sin x plus 2 sin square x, right? There was less space over 2 plus 2 sin x. And then we took 2 sin x common in the numerator, getting 1 plus sin x as one of the factors. In denominator, also we got 1 plus sin x, they cancel. So we are left with sin x as a result. So I hope you understand and appreciate how we have used this technique of componendo and dividendo to find the result. Now, those of you who are interested in understanding the method and how to prove it, you can continue with the solution uh, of this particular method. But I hope you understand and appreciate what has been done. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best. Componendo Dividendo Method this is a remarkable technique which will help you solve most of the challenging questions on ratios and proportions. If A is to B equals to C is to D, then we could always write this as A plus B over A minus B equals to C plus D over C minus D. Now that is the method which we are going to prove and apply in some questions. Let's take up uh, the proof first. So let's prove it. So when I write A is to B equals to C is to D, then in ratios, I could always write this as a over B equals to C over D, correct? That is what it means. Now, if I add 1 on both sides, that is to say, if I do A plus B plus 1, it should also be equal to C plus D plus 1. Taking common denominators, we get B here, and we get A plus B in the numerator, and we get C plus D over D in the denominator. So we get to one more very important result and that is if A is to B equals to C is to D then A plus B over B is also equal to C plus D over D. Do you get the idea? That is to say that A plus B is to B is equal to C plus D is to D. So that is one rule which we have learned just now. Beautiful. Now let us see what happens when we subtract 1. So if A is to B equals to C over D, then let me begin with the same ratio A over B and this time let me take away 1. If I take away 1, I get A minus B over B equals to C minus D over D. And so, what can I write now? Well, another ratio, this time with the difference. Perfect. This time with the difference. So what we get here is that A minus B is to B is also equal to C minus D is to D. Well, these equations are extremely important. Let me number them. So this one, I'll number as 1. And this one, I will number as 2. Now see what happens if I divide 1 by 2. 
right? So, so you could think like this. What happens when I divide this by this? So on the left side, what do I get? Let me show you here. Now in that case, a plus b over b divided by a minus b over b comes on the left side. So what we get here is a plus b over b divided by a minus b over b should be equal to c plus d over d divided by c minus d over d. So clearly the denominators of the two cancel away, right? And what are you left with? You're left with a plus b over a minus b should be equal to c plus d over c minus d. That is what you're left with. So we get the third relation, which we call componendo and dividendo. So this equation here is what we are looking for. Now, we refer to the first equation as componendo. The second one as dividendo. You could write it in ratios or in proportion. And the third one is combination of the two. Now I'll take up many examples and you'll find those questions in many multiple choice questions for entrance examinations, maybe for good universities or for jobs. And let us see how to utilize this technique to answer some very challenging questions relating to proportions and ratios. I hope you understand and appreciate the technique. Now we have taken an example here if square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 divided by square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4 equals to 2, then x is equal to what? So we need to find the value of x. Now this question seems to be very difficult, but if you apply the technique just learned, componendo and dividendo, it should be simple. So what is that technique? It is that if a over b equals to c over d that implies that a plus b over a minus b should be equal to c plus d over c minus d. So this is what we just learned. Now let us see how to apply this technique and solve such a question. So what we are given here is square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 divided by square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4 equals to 2. So we could write this as 2 over 1. Correct? Now think about a over b equals to c over d where c and d is 2 and 1. So we can apply this component or dividend to method and rewrite the left side as square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 add the denominator, right? So this part will add. So this is the numerator, perfect. And let's add to this the denominator, which is square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4. And in the denominator, we'll subtract this part, right? So we have square root of x plus 4 plus square root of x minus 4 minus square root of x plus 4 minus square root of x minus 4, correct? On the right side, we get 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1. Now 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 is number 3. Now here, in the numerator, these two terms get cancelled, right? These two terms get cancelled. And in the denominator, these two terms get cancelled. Perfect. So what do you get? By adding these two, we get 2 times square root of 
x plus 4 and in the denominator we get 2 times square root of x minus 4 equals to 3. Now you can actually cancel 2's also, right? And cross multiply after squaring. So let's first square. So if we square both sides, we get x plus 4 over x minus 4 equals to 9. Do you see that? Now it becomes a very simple equation to solve. Let's cross multiply. So we get x plus 4 equals to 9 times x minus 4 or x plus 4 equals to 9x minus 36 and taking constants to this side we get 4 plus 36 equals to 9x minus x 40 equals to 8x and 40 divided by 8 equals to x so we get x equals to 5. Do you see that part? So that is how we can easily solve such questions. x equals to 5. You can always verify. If you substitute 5 here, 5 plus 4 is 9, square root is 3, and this is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. You get the idea. So that is how we can get this answer. I hope you understand and appreciate the technique. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.